Well, 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 happy to see you again for another round and welcome to the third episode of this tutorial series on how to build a physics VR rig like in Boneworks. After learning how to set up and move using physics, this time we are going to go one step further and learn how to grab using physics. And you will see this will create all kinds of interaction like having grab that can collide with your world, grabbing with weight, grabbing with two hands, grabbing restricted object like this door, using what we grab to move like with this zip line and even grab the world around us to climb. So are you ready? I'm putting a lot of effort into these videos. So if you'd like to support my work and have access to exclusive content like the source code of all of my project and exclusive tutorial, you can join 600 other people on my Patreon link in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are back where we were left at the end of the previous episode. And so what we need to do is to create a script that will check when we press on the grip button to check the collider around the end. To do so, let's select both our left hand and the right hand physics, click on add component and create a component called grab physics. Okay, so to check the bar collider around this end, we are going to first need an input action. So at the top, let's write using Unity Engine dot input system, then add a public input action property called grab input source. There you go. Next, we need to say the radius and center of where we will check if we have a collider. For the center, we can use this position on this end. And for the radius, we can create a public float called radius, set it to 0.1 initially. And finally, let's add a public layer mask called grab layer that we will use to say with what we want to interact. Perfect, now we have everything we need. So in the fix update, let's check if we are pressing on the grab button with bool is grab button press equals grab input source dot action dot red value float and then do is greater than a certain threshold so let's say 0 0.1 and now if it's the case let's check the nearby collider by doing collider bracket nearby colliders equals physics dot overlap sphere transform position radius grab layer and as we don't want to get the collider from the trigger collider we can add query trigger interaction dot in your there you go so this will populate an array of collider inside this radius and so if nearby collider dot length is greater than zero it means that we have found at least one collider around the end and we can get the rigid body we hit by doing rigid body nearby rigid body equals nearby colliders bracket zero dot attached rigid body uh, by the way, if there are multiple rigid body in the radius of the end, you can try to find the closest from the end. But in my case, I will keep it very simple and simply get the first one in the collider array. And now we can use it to set up the joint to grab the object or move the player. Pretty cool, right? So to do so, let's create a private fixed joint parameter called fixed joint at the top there. And we can then do fixed joint equals game object dot add component fixed join. There you go. So in the same way that we set up uh, the anchor or the connected anchor of our physical end to make it follow our controller in the two previous episodes, we are going here to change the anchor ourselves. So let's do fixed joint dot auto configure connected anchor equals false. And then we have two cases. If there is a nearby rigid body, we can use it on our fixed joint with fixed joint dot connected body equals nearby rigid body and set the anchor with fixed join dot connected anchor equals nearby rigid body dot transform dot inverse transform point transform dot position and here remember that the inverse transform change a point from world position to local position which is what we need for the anchor parameter as it is in local position finally if we don't have a nearby rigid body it means that the collider we found is static like a wall or something that we want to use to climb so let's do fixed joint dot connected anchor equals transform dot position Phew, and it is as simple as this. Now we have two little things that are remaining to do. First, we only want to add a joint the first time we are pressing on the grip button. So for this, let's go at the top, add a private bool called is grabbing equals false. And at the top, we can add it to if is grab button press and not is grabbing. And set then the is grabbing parameters to true at the end. So this way we will only trigger this if we are not already grabbing an object. But we of course need to release the object. So for this very simple again else if not is grab button press and 
is grabbing, we can set then the is grabbing parameter to false and then destroy the joint. So if fix joint, destroy fixed join. And there you go. Congratulations. We have finished with our physics web script. This is so cool and I can't wait to show you all the possibilities that this offers. But first, we need to set it up in the Unity editor. So let's save and go back to Unity. For the radius, let's keep it at 0.1. For the grab layer, let's go at the top here and add a layer that I will call grabbable. Then we can set for both and the grab layer to be the grabbable layer that we just made. And of course, you can tweak this to say which layer you want to use or not. Now, I have a little red cube on top of my table here that has a rigid body and that I want to grab. So we can assign it this grabbable layer. Finally, we have the grab input to set. So for both, let's use reference and set it to be left select value for the left hand and right select value for the right hand. And as you can see, if I double click on one of these actions, as you can see, this input action use the grip button, which is what we want to grab the cube. And there you go. Now this is over. We have finished with uh, the physics grab setup. So let's click on play to try to grab this little red cube. Already we can see the result. This is so cool to see. I can now grab the cube super easily with both my hands and everything is working great. Now you can see already the movement of this cube is using physics. So that means that it cannot pass through the stable and that I can even use it to push myself up. But this is something that we will use later on with a zipline. So another cool thing that I want to show you here is that we can already have some simple two-end manipulation with this setup. Now the physics is a bit jittery, but I mean it's kind of already working and this is especially useful when dealing with the next cool thing with this setup, which is weight. Now if I leave play mode, that I increase the cube rigid body mass to 100, and that I click on play again. You see now, because we are using physics, it is also using the mass of the object when we move it. So now this object is getting harder to move, which is super cool to see. And we can even grab it more easily using two ends. But with this setup, I'm noticing a little issue, which I'm going to fix right now. If I leave play mode, you see the end prison is following the controller and not the physical hand. So to fix this, let's quickly drag the left end model under the left end physics and do the same for the right hand. Now, if I click on play, everything is better. The end visual is following the object and this gives a better result with the weight parameter taken into account. But here is another cool thing to see with this setup. Because we are again using physics to move the object, it means that I can still use the physics restriction on them. Like here, I have this door, which have inch joint to rotate around an axis, well, like a real door. And so what's left for us is to set it to grabbable. And now if I click on play, as you can see, it works. I can grab the door and open it as simple as this. This is great. So I guess that we are understanding right now the possibility of a physics interaction. But now, of course, these interactions can lead some unwanted behavior and other bugs. So be careful with them. But they are really fun to work with. And so let me show you here these two little things. First, if we set all of these red cube on the wall to be grabbable as well, I then as they don't have a rigid body, this cube will not move with us, but we will still be able to use them to climb. So let me show you if I click on play. As you can see, we can push our end down to climb, but now with the grab physics script, if I grab, I can also climb on that wall super easily and still be able to lift myself up like before. And finally, I have here this zip line, which is just a cylinder scale on one axis. And on that cylinder, I'm using a physics material that has no friction to be able to slide. So now using an object that we grab, we can use this zip line. This is awesome. And there it is, guys. This is the end of this tutorial on how to use physics to grab an object in VR. I hope that you are enjoying this tutorial series. And so right now, we have already covered a lot of things related to physics and VR. And I might do another episode talking about jumping and fixing some bugs, like having your end stuck somewhere. So let me know if that's something that you would like to see. And of course, I will make an exclusive tutorial using this VR setup on my Patreon. So if you want to become a VR expert and support my work, you know what to do. Thank you for watching till the end and see you soon. Bye bye.